It's one of those unibody trucks from like the 60s. I, I think this might be the second one I've ever seen. Pretty interesting old ride, isn't it? Figure the Ford make a pretty good backdrop. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about lens. Yeah, I have another one. I've got the Fuji adapter on it because that's been what I've been shooting it on today. What this is, is an 80 to 200 millimeter uh, zoom lens made for JC Penny. Typically made under contract by one of any number of subcontractors in Japan back in the day. This lens was most likely a very economical lens. The construction of the lens though is incredible. The lens is all metal construction. It has, I don't, it has the original lens cap with it. It actually has a, a J, but it has a built-in lens hood, just like a Nikkor lens. It doesn't have the Nikkor look. It vaguely resembles one. It's actually nice. The helical is nice and smooth. It's got, it's got just the right amount of resistance, not too much, not too little. It has a nice zoom range. I mean, the zoom ring, it's like not too stiff. It's a little stiffer than the than the focus ring, but not bad. The aperture ring has good solid aperture clicks. The detents are they're a little bushy, but not real bad. One thing about the aperture ring though, is it only has five positions. Yeah, you go from f4, five, straight to f8, then 11, 16, and 22. So you don't get a lot of adjustment. I think what they're doing is they're relying on the camera to do one third stop aperture control with it. The lens has multi-coated optics. It has a macro function, which I did test today on a gecko and the resolution looks really good. I was kind of surprised at the resolution. It does have what appears to be pretty low contrast. Looking through the viewfinder on the, on the Fuji, the contrast did seem to be a little light. Like the contrast just wasn't all that great. But then again, the lens was really economical. But the glass is perfect. I got this lens. I don't remember exactly how much the price was. It'll show up on the screen somewhere. But the lens is all metal, so it's fairly heavy. And it does have a zoom range from 80 to 200 millimeters. Now on the Fuji, that's, that's pretty long. And it did work pretty good. I shot you know, some photos of some birds and some fruit hanging in trees and some flowers and trying to get some high contrast environment and lower contrast when it was overcast. F4 or 5 has some artifacts. There's some issues around the edges and things. It's not super bad. It ain't no $2,000 lens. You know, this ain't a 70 to 200 VR2 or whatever Nikkor that costs three grand. This was like $20. So, you be the judge. Thank you for watching. It's David, the Georgia photographer. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you can thumbs down it. But I'd prefer you didn't. <laughs> you know, it's free world. However it works. I seem to get one every video. Not sure who that is, but someone is down thumbing like virtually every video at least one. So, <laughs> if you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. You know, and y'all know what to do down there. So, I appreciate your time. We'll talk to y'all later. And this is David, the George photographer. And I'm out. Bye-bye.